getting boards ready for the next best off for sale. Will you be there? There's the information. I'm going to make you sit through just a minute of this before we show you something you've never seen before. Uh, over here, I'm getting more boards. I just got in a case of my TNT Amusements hot sauce. Uh, Billy Mitchell makes it for me. And I'm very pleased. Uh, we're not selling it commercially. We're going to be giving it away at our best offer sale. Look what Arcade Alex sent me. This was so kind of him. He's one of our fans. He spent, uh, he valued it at $40. He sent this from Canada. 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 He knows we like Tim Horton. For some reason, the Canadians get these great cereals and cookies that we don't get. I, I don't get it. I just don't understand it. So, and, and it, I, people have been so gracious and shared these with us. Look at what he says. It's been a lot of money, plus the cost to ship it. Ooh. Celebration. Biscuits a barreau. I just spoke some French. And look, he sent me TNT, Todd and TNT family, just sending you a small thank you for all that you do. Enjoy the treats. Arcade Alex. Bags! Thanks. That was really good of you. And yes, we're going to go. Because you see, Arcade Alex is, I'm leading this into, show you something that's so neat. And so off the wall. And so wonderful. And it's not me. Let's go back. Well, we have something very unique, very special, and quite wonderful to show you. It's unbelievable because 99% of you have never, ever seen this. Ever. This is a 13 inch. Vector, a Wells Garner, or I'm sorry, this is an Amplophone monitor. It is playing, as you see, the Space Duel. You will never see one of these. This is an Atari, there's the serial number, a testing unit, and it uses a most unique combination board. It uses a special Amplifone board that was only used in this one model. Uh, that unplugged plug is the degausser in the back. So the high voltage um, uh, flyback is actually mounted on the single board so everything would fit in this little cabinet. Now according to the sticker was manufactured or finished on March of 83. So there is the original um, paperwork, dusty. We like to keep everything dusty. Isn't this something? This is so rare, so unique. It uses the same plug. So you see we unplugged our um, space tool there and we have it in. Looks like the we could turn the brightness down just a hair. I'll turn it down. Just, is that too low? Yeah. How's the picture now? That looks good to me. Yeah. I like turned you. it down. It looks good, right? It's beautiful. I think this is just too rare not to share with you what this is. Look here. Single XY deflection board. There's the part number. It's revision two. Um, obviously it's dusty and dirty, but the neck board has a small, short connection because, of course, this is riding underneath it. And, boy, they had a long anode. You know why? Because this is the one for the 
Star Wars with the picture tubes in the game. And this, in fact, oops, put their clubs there. This, in fact, is the unit. Now, I want to show you. Now, this is missing a capacitor, but you can clearly see there is not even close in construction. I mean, the two caps, but everything is very different. Now, this connector is in the same spot. We have two fuses, but see the resistors? There's nothing even close in the build of the deflection unit that goes in the regular Atari games. This looks like it's 02. This serial number is 456. As a matter of fact, we'll be selling this in our upcoming best offer sale. It's probably, I'll probably have this video up before that. So that's this Saturday, September, Sunday, September 4th. Let's get back to this. The high voltage unit is similar. It's not quite the same. Uh, wait a minute, I think I have one. Well, here we are, here. Um, it's pretty different. The high voltage unit looks a lot different. It's possible this is a replacement. That's what I'm thinking. I think I remember seeing this box one where this is probably a more original, but I don't know. But, uh, now this one, of course, had a long lead for the anode here. See, and the funny thing is it's been on the shelf for so long, but sometimes... <laughs> Curdy, did they, did you like that? No. It's annoying. Annoying, annoying. I have a little fun in my miserable existence. I just lost a subscriber. Or two. Or two. But you know what I'm going to do? We're going to put this up. This is Mark Bay. We're going to put this up in this week's auction, too. But what do you think of that, Kurt? It's good. What's that? This is a very amazing piece of equipment. Now, we determined, according to the serial number on the cabinet, come close, this is number 46. So, not many, and how many still exist? Inside looks clean, turn the light on, and Mr. Camera, push the button twice. You see light? Good. All right, let's look inside now that the cabinet's empty, okay? Okay, so this is the the gossing circuit. Apparently there's, there's the yoke plug. Apparently there's two different grounds to figure out where they go. That, I don't know what that is. I wonder if that went out the front, but uh, I don't know. This, I don't know, that could have been a, a power switch for the, um, for the, def, the, uh, degausser. Because this is the degausser here. But I'm not sure. There were no instructions. Can you see? Here's your light. That's a lot more light. We were just fascinated that this, uh, 40 year old piece of equipment is still running fine. I guess sitting for many years. Joe's, underneath Joe's uh, workbench helped. So why don't we get this hooked back up and see how the game plays. Good luck. It goes like this, I think. See, it goes in cockeyed. I set you up. You know all about cockeyed. <laughs> Thanks for shining the light in. <laughs> oh, careful. <laughs> You're getting me all oh upset. <laughs> You're getting me all upset. Come on. Hook it up, son. Back there. 
You gonna be able to get the without getting chopped? He's really gonna get chopped. Who designed this? Atari. It does say manufactured by Atari on the top. The Amplifone monitors. God, they were awful, weren't they? They were brutal. They were brutal. They were. Okay, so this there plugs in here. Good. Did you see where these went, Kurt? I did. I wait till you find them. See where they go. Do you think I'm that stupid? One's on the neck. I see one. One's on the neck, but the other's right there. Am I right? Right there. Am I right? I think. Where on the neck? Oh, look at that. And then, it slides in on this groove. It's groovy. It's we groovy, don't know what man. that does. It's we groovy. never figured out what that does. And there was a simple screw holding it in. Now you get a hammer and you push that over the hammer. Ooh. Did you have the screw or did, did you not? No screw. There was no there screw. Was no screw. Yeah. I think we'll put a screw in it yes, we before do. we ship it. Cool. Good. Or bubble gum. Bubble gum. Bubble gum. All this yeah. table's gonna collapse before anything. No, oh, this is a this, <laughs> this is, is the vector table. table. Yeah, it's a vector table. All right, all right, vector. All right, vector. Let me get out of the way before you turn it on. Jesus. Hide back here. I don't think this is plugged in all the way. Yeah. Good. How's the picture? You gotta turn the game on. Oh. It requires an on off switch. Nothing. Yeah. How's the picture? It's gonna be beautiful. It's dirty. We need to clean the screen. Oh, it's beautiful. It is beautiful. Here, let me have that. Stuff. Now, see, Tom is assisting us. Aren't you, Tom? This poor monitor has been sitting here. Tom is our favorite customer. Now, what makes this so neat? This is the first time 99% of you, turn off the light so they can see it better here, uh, have seen an Atari Color vector game on such a tiny instrument. That was a nice touch, was it? An instrument. That's what this is. Now look, Tom, did you notice these little Velcro circles? Mm -hmm apparently held the front panel on. There was, there's one piece of cardboard here. I'm sure there was cardboard here. But we think the front was probably a plastic um, screen. It may, it may have been a piece of plexi in front. Something could have um, been on the front too. Let's make it a little bit. Isn't the sound great on this game? Four, not one or two or three, four six by nine wolfers. Two of them fire the base into your, your stomach. And the other two fire it into your top of your head. Well, what do you think? Number 44, right? 46, Atari 46. Well, I think it's nice, and I certainly yeah. think it's worth a thousand dollars. Plus, I said right. Tom, I could see this in your house. <laughs> you know what? You could put this on top of the space tool. Run yeah. two of them. Have two. What do you think, Curdy? Did Curdy disappear? Well, what do you think? This was pretty neat, wasn't it? 
something you've never seen at before and never will see again. Thanks for watching. And we've had it. A short video, but a whopper, wasn't it? Good night.